In 2015, <clears throat> a famous American named Steve Harvey hosted the Miss Universe pageant. This is the world's largest beauty pageant with contestants from almost every country. And the, the whole world was watching as Miss Colombia and Miss Philippines were in the spotlight, waiting to see who would be crowned the next Miss Universe. As Steve announced, Miss Colombia, everyone got very excited. However, Steve had made a mistake. Miss Colombia was the runner-up. The real winner was Miss Philippines. And the atmosphere became very uncomfortable as Miss Columbia had to give up her crown to Miss Philippines. Steve Harvey was very embarrassed by this mistake and will likely never make it again. But things don't have to be so extreme for a mistake to change you for the better. And that's what I'd like to talk about today. Hi, my name's Nick. I'm an English conversation teacher. I teach two-year-olds all the way up to adults, and I really enjoy teaching. The best part is all the mistakes. I like when my students make mistakes, because mistakes are super important for helping us learn. Okay. So, when I first came to Japan, I had no Japanese language experience. I could barely count to 10. And you may not think about it, but shopping was one of the biggest challenges. When I went shopping, I learned that sugar and salt look very, familiar, very similar, as do mirin and vinegar. And I made a lot of mistakes, and I learned a lot from them. But enough about me. I'd like to play a game, and I'd like a volunteer to help me. Can anybody help me play a game? All right, you're right there. Thank you. Come on up here. Let's give him a round of applause. What's your name? My name is Kenichi Moriyama. Kenichi, nice to meet you. All right, so Kenichi, could you come over here? All right, so we are going to play a game, Kenichi, and a uh, really easy game. We're going to say things that we like. This is a game I sometimes play in my classes. So I like, so for example, I like pizza. All right, and then say something you like and pass it back. I like ramen. Good. I like cheese. I like calendars. Good, excellent. So we're going to add a timer just for 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Yes. Okay. And if you're holding the ball, when the timer beeps, then you lose. OK? One more time. If you're holding the ball, and the timer goes beep, like beep, 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 then you lose. OK? OK, all right, here we go. Uh, I like hamburgers. I like chicken. I like dogs. I like cats. I like the color blue. I like my house. Good. I like oh, Good, excellent job. OK, now we're going to try it one more time, OK? All right. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, uh, I like takoyaki. I like okonomiyaki. I like uh, sushi. Oh, I like sashimi. I like um, playing games. Oh, oh, very good, excellent job. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, Kimchi. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. OK, so what were we doing? We were learning through mistakes and a twist. And while this game doesn't necessarily point out a mistake, it surprises you. You feel it. And mistakes do the same thing. <clears throat> and when I first started teaching, I wanted to teach the perfect English in the perfect way. 
I had everything very neat and organized. I was really kind of afraid of my students making mistakes. Um, and as it turns out, it was really horrible for my students to learn and use a language. And the first person to help me out with this was my wife, Yasko. It happened when we were looking over one of my lesson plans. I had a vocabulary list, a phrase, some games, and how to play those games, and everything was perfect. It was too perfect. And she took one look at my lesson plan and said, they aren't going to remember this. You have to make it a little dirty. So we did. We changed the phrase a little bit, mixed up the vocabulary, and added a twist to the game. And she was right. They learned, and they spoke more. They made mistakes. But through those mistakes, they learned how to communicate. It was amazing. And so I wanted to try a little bit of this right now. Um, if you all could be my students for the next couple minutes, I'd like to learn some vocabulary. Uh, and I'd like you to repeat after me. These are the vocabulary words we're going to learn. We have carabiner, good, erosion, orienteering, meadow, grommet, and blaze. OK, so here we go. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is in the top left right there. Um, let's read it. Grommet. Very good. And uh, a grommet is the metal ring. The little, sorry, the metal, metal ring right there. Um, and the next one is carabiner. Good. Blaze. Erosion. Meadow. And there was one more. Did you catch it? Somebody caught it? Did you catch it? <laughs> one more time. <laughs> orienteering. Very good. And so orienteering is finding your way with a map and a compass. OK, so next, who goes rock climbing? Does anybody do any rock climbing, outdoor sports, or anything we like? Good, excellent. So when we go rock climbing, we need some equipment to stay safe. And uh, what is some of the equipment that we need? So let's take a look. Blaze. <laughs> blaze. Blaze, very good. Uh, not a blaze, but a carabiner. Very good, carabiner. All right, so next, I like going out to the countryside. I really enjoy vacations in the calm countryside, and I really like seeing all of the erosion. <laughs> erosion. Very good, not erosion. I like seeing the meadows. Meadows, very good, excellent job. So how many of these did you remember? Hopefully you remembered more than you thought you would. Let's see if we can go through them. What's this one right here, number one? Carabiner, oh, sorry, grommet. <laughs> number two, carabiner. Number three, blaze. Number four, erosion. Number five, orienteering. Number six, metal. Very good. All right, so what's going on in our brains when we make a mistake? Dr. Jason Moser, an expert in error processing in the brain, has found some incredible stuff. He found that our brains react dramatically within a split second of making a mistake. And more than this, he found that those with a positive attitude about mistakes can correct their mistakes and make less of them, while those with a negative attitude about mistakes make more of them. So in conclusion, I hope to encourage you to have fun making mistakes whether they're on TV in front of an international audience or in the grocery store. I want, to, I want you to have fun and never be afraid of making mistakes because they're really important 
for our growth. Thank you very much.